I think uh, if we can uh, get the ability to be able to monitor what's happening out there in the real world, uh, that may make the uh, regulators uh, a little bit more lenient in terms of making uh, drugs available uh, for dire conditions. So I'm not talking about athletes, but here I'm talking about, for example, brain cancer, pancreatic cancer. And if there are some drugs that are showing promise on some patients, but perhaps not enough that would ordinarily, that they would ordinarily approve. But for these conditions, you could make a good, strong case that these drugs need to be, should be, and need to be in the toolkits of physicians. Because if they are, uh, then people can experiment with them and maybe get a 10% response rate up to 20% or 40%. Uh, by combining them with other drugs and learning how best to use them. Uh, the secret is that every patient who is getting drugs under these kinds of accelerated or conditional approval need to be in a virtual trial where they can be tracked and followed so that we can learn from their experiences. As far as I'm concerned, uh, in order to make a difference in, clin in clinical trials, the big impact is the ability to, for patients to be able to get hold of their own health records and be able to make them available to whomever they want, including clinical researchers and clinical trials. I think that what we're trying to do, which is, uh, okay, from my, from my standpoint, uh, I don't think of building a bridge as the right metaphor even, uh, because what I'm trying to do is take uh, clinical research and clinical oncology, two completely separate worlds that do need a bridge, and basically, fully and in, tightly integrate them around individual patients so that the bridge disappears because the Grand Canyon disappears. And so uh, I highly applaud this collaborative to get the conversation started. But in order to get it to continue, uh, what we're talking about is really not trying to get, you know, enrollment up from 3% to 6%, but to redesign the system so that all patients are being studied and learned from all the time for their benefit and for the benefit of all future patients.